I'm just a guy who loves Disney and has way too much time on his hands. If anybody from Disney is watching, please don't sue me. I'm here to rate, review, and describe all of your favorite things from the magical world of Disney. I'm File91E and welcome to my Disney News and Reviews. Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Disney News and Reviews. I'm File91E. A pretty boring week for me this week. I really didn't do too much. Not a whole, you know, a whole lot happened at work. Uh, but... You know, I'm happy to be here with you guys today. Awesome, good stuff. Uh, the Where in the Land from last week was Flo's V8 Cafe in the Cars Land section of Disney's California Adventure. Uh, I love Cars Land and that was, uh, it looks really nice there. Really, uh, really, really great, um, you know, part of the Cars Land. Awesome, really good stuff. Um, next week, I'm going to be doing a live show. I am going to be doing it. It's probably going to be around, uh, I want to say 6 p.m.? I think that's what I'm going to do. I'll po I'll post up another video, you know, later, you know, telling you the fine details about the whole thing. Uh, but yeah, I want to be doing a live show next week, followed by a Q and A. Uh, so that should be cool. And the main subject of the show and the Q and A is going to be the D23 Expo. Yes, I'll talk about uh, you know about other things, but the main thing is the D23 Expo. I want to talk to you guys about that, and hopefully, uh, you know. It'll be fun, you know. I, the, the last time we did a uh, a live show, that was uh, um, a really good time. I, you know, a lot of people turned out, and it was just a, a fantastic time. And uh, I hope to have the same, you know, kind of energy there. Uh, so uh, I'll give you more information on that, but it'll probably be next Saturday sometime. So uh, uh, the Saturday of Labor Day weekend for us here, and it'll go on till whenever. But I know. Uh, it's hard for the UK people to uh, to to watch because of the you know the time difference, but hopefully it won't be too bad. So yeah, so cool. That should be fun. Uh, also, this is the end of Arena August. This is the this will be the last uh, show you know featuring me uh, split up and everything like that. It was a really great time this you know you know this month doing that. I think a lot of you liked it. Uh, let me know if you did, and uh, I, I I do I, you know I do have ideas for a second one. Uh, you know, so I might do that next, you know, next August, bring that back and uh, hopefully you guys, uh, you know, will enjoy that. So let me know if you did, if you, you know, enjoy Arena August, just post in the comment section below. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much what's been going on with me this week. I got a lot of news this week. Let's get right to the news. It may still be summer, but crews are already busy installing the first of millions of lights that would transform the streets of America during this year's Osborne Family Spectacle, spectacle of Dancing Lights in Disney's Hollywood Studios. That is hard to say. Uh, the first lights are, up, are now up on some of the building facades, and the show will take place this year uh, uh, from November 6th through to January 3rd. Uh, so it's interesting that they're putting them up this early, but with how many that they do, it, it, you know, it doesn't shock me. Run Disney has announced a new series of races that will take place at Walt Disney World that are inspired by the dark forces of the Star Wars universe. Following the debut of the popular Star Wars themed light side of the force race at Disneyland Resort, the Walt Disney World uh, event turns to the dark side of the force and will be titled the Star Wars Half Marathon, The Dark Side, uh, and will feature kids races, a 5K and 10K in addition to the Half Marathon. Uh, now, it wouldn't be a run Disney event without um, the multiple race challenges, and there are two to choose from. First is the Star Wars Dark Side Challenge, which entails ru uh, running the 10K and the Half Marathon on consecutive days. Uh, each finisher will get a Death Star themed medal. And then there's the Kessel Run Challenge, which entails completing the Star Wars Half Marathon missions on both coasts. So that means you have to do both. That's crazy. Uh, the Kessel Run Challenge runners will earn a commemorative coast-to-coast -coast medal inspired by the Millennium Falcon Starship, and that is awesome. The Star Wars-themed race at Disneyland Resort will return in January 2016 as the Star Wars Half Marathon The Light Side. Uh, the race weekend for this one, The Dark Side, will be a April 14th through the 17th. Disney has released an update to its My Disney Experience app to include previews of the PhotoPass images. Uh, the service doesn't currently allow you to purchase individual images. Instead, it prompts you to visit the PhotoPass website to do so. Uh, when selecting an image from the preview, the app offers the Memory Maker product for $199. 
$199, which covers all of your photo, uh, the PhotoPass photography during the current trip. I do want to try that the next time I go down to Disney World. I am going to try that. Uh, besides the ability to preview your PhotoPass images, the uh, app also includes a map to locate the PhotoPass photographers across the parks. So that's really cool. Uh, they're really updating the My Disney Experience app, you know, you know, to its full potential. So uh, if you have the My Disney Experience app already, be sure to update it to uh, to constantly be, uh, you know, in the loop. And finally, the annual refurbishment of the Blizzard Beach Water Park has been extended by a couple of weeks. Originally scheduled to begin on October 25th, the refurbishment now begins on October 4th, way earlier, lasting through to January 2nd, reopening to guests on January 3rd. That might have something to do with the fact that uh, it, they, they found some, you know, some things, you know, over the summer that they wanted to work on, and they might be, you know working on them so who, who knows now I have a bunch of Disneyland news and some refurbishment news so keep your ears up in Disneyland in New Orleans Square the Honda Mansion has uh, closed for the installation of its uh, Nightmare Before Christmas themed holiday overlay the Haunted Mansion officially opens on September 11th, but usually soft opens a day or two early, so that's closed right now. Uh, in Tomorrowland, the Space Mountain uh, will close on November, or no, sorry, September 7th, and reopen on the 11th with its Space Mountain Ghost Galaxy overlay. That was actually pretty cool. Uh, also announced this fall, the bottom level of the old Interventions building will be home to the new Star Wars launch bay, featuring props and interactive exhibits on Star Wars The Force Awakens. Uh, the upper level will house Superhero HQ, an enhanced version of the Marvel exhibits and meet and greets that were slowly introduced over the last few years. Again, that was actually really cool, so hopefully they'll do some good business with uh, interventions there. And I love the new Star Wars stuff. And finally, uh, in, in the main rehab and refurbishment news for Disneyland, the Sailing Ship Columbia will be closed September 8th through the 10th. Pirates of the Caribbean will be closed from September 14th through the 29th. The It's Tough to Be a Bug will be closed September 7th through the 17th. And finally, Ariel's Grotto Restaurant will be closed from September 15th through September 17th for refurbishment. So yeah, tons of news right there. So yeah, let's get right to the reviews. Well, it's the final week of Arena August, and uh, I got to say, I've had a blast doing these, and uh, I hope you have too. Uh, I do want to come back for this next year, so uh, if you really want to see it, just let me know, and uh, I think I will uh, bring it back. Because uh, it was fun and, and kind of easy, it gave me something to do, and uh, something different to talk about. Now, um, this week, uh, I'm going to be talking about two big things. It's going to be kind of a, a, of a reverential sort of thing not very humorous at all but i do want to be talking about some some big stuff the castles and um the uh uh just i'm, I'm basically going to tell you what you know which i like better disney world or disneyland so uh yeah, i'll be comparing them now if you've not if you haven't seen this before well, what i do is i split my personality into two uh, uh representatives the first is the representative for disneyland and the representative for disney world and they you know, battle back and forth, and then I, as Final Nine to Winnie, uh, you know, make my decision. So uh, that's kind of the way the setup is. So uh, I got to get over to the judging area, and I will be right back uh, after it's all over. Hope you enjoy it. Gentlemen, what we have done this month has been big, deep and big. Don't know where I'm going with this. Just trying to look stern, very intimidating, not working. Okay, I am going to tell you, this is the big one. This is what we've worked for, what you, hopefully you guys have been thinking about for a long time. We're going to compare two big attractions, then we're going to compare parks. Everybody wants to hear the opinion of Final Night when you on that, apparently, according to people. So the first thing I want to talk to you about today, Disneyland representative, Disney World representative is the castles, each individual 
Castle. So, Disneyland, I'll just start with you. I'll let him go first. You're deferring. Okay. Disney World, 0 for 2 last week. It's Bush League, man. Bush League. Step up your game. You got to get it right this time. You're up. All right, Cinderella Castle. Um, well, we're taller. That's pretty much it. We are the tallest that we can possibly be without having to put one of those annoying red beacons on the top of our thing. Um, it is Cinderella Castle. Uh, you can do a lot of things there. They have Cinderella's Royal Table where uh, kids can go and eat. So yes, there are things in our in our in our castle. You didn't used to be. Yes, there used to be offices. But now it's an apartment. It's the uh, almost the huge dream suite that you can win if you get a sweepstake sort of thing. You can't, you know, buy it. But if you win it, you can stay there and uh, see Cinderella's glass slipper and everything. So that's really cool. Uh, you know, it's it's nice. It's re it looks really great, all lit up for uh, Christmas. But I'm sure yours does too. Uh, you know, both castles really are pretty much predominant. You know, f you know, features. I mean, I think they even mix the two with, uh, you know, in the openings of the Disney movies. So can't really uh, say too much more. But there you go. I mean, that's Cinderella's Castle and Walt Disney World. Very good. Disneyland, you're up now. That was very good. Very good. Very good. So um, Sleeping Beauty Castle. What can I say? The original castle, that was the original thing that Walt Disney wanted to draw people to the center of the park so that they could then venture out into other different areas uh, so they could enjoy their day. Uh, yes, Cinderella Castle is a little taller, um, but hey, it's not the original, is it? You know, uh, I think it's pretty good. There is an actual attraction in this, uh, you know, in, in this structure. Uh, I, th I believe he, I don't think he mentioned that there were, uh, you know, offices in his before they decided to put a giant, you know, awesome apartment in there that I was not allowed or invited to. Yes, yes, we had offices. Excuse us for having a functional business area. But that's okay, we're moving on from that. We're moving on, I've moved on, therapy. But, you know, Sleeping Beauty Castle is the original. It's nice, it's elegant. And the uh, mixture of the two makes a great opening credits for Walt Disney Pictures, so that's excellent. So it's hard to pick one or the other, honestly, for me. Even though I love the Sleeping Beauty Castle, it's pretty good too. Well, we are in a, in a courthouse a setting-ish thing, so of course you're going to hear sirens. It's Baltimore. Anyway, good you know, arguments for the both of you. Uh, I actually gave, I have, was given this a lot of thought. I'm not sure what I would have to pick between the two. Honestly, I think this is a draw. I have no idea which is better. And I, I don't think either, either of them are better. I think each has its own charm. Each has its own thing. And, and it's something everybody looks for or forward to seeing when they go to each of the respective parks. So. I think Disneyland uh, is great. Disney World's is great too. So I'm playing this a draw. All right, I, I can, can take accept that. that. A draw. I can accept that. All right, guys, let's settle down. This is the big one now. Walt Disney World versus Disneyland Park. It's also including all of the other things. That's the entire Disneyland Park. The uh, you know, Disney's California Adventure included. So I want you to guys give me, you know, give me your fa you know favorite things about each of the parks and why you you know might think that they're better. So Disneyland, you're up, buddy. You go. Which is better, Walt Disney World or Disneyland? Uh, that's a tough one for you to figure out. Uh, let me just go off and say, this is, like I've been said with a lot of things here, this is the original. This was the first one Walt wanted. And uh, he wanted to make a park that was a place that he could go and enjoy himself with his daughters and that families could go and enjoy themselves, not just kids. So he went and did it. And he made this awesome park that spawned all this other stuff. Without this park, 
There will be no Disney, Disney World or Disneyland Paris or anything like that. When you walk into this park, the nostalgia is very prevalent. You realize this is where Walt, you know, was. This was his thing. And, uh, you know, Walt was there. He walked the, you know, the, you know, the streets and all the history behind it, all the names on the, uh, the Main Street USA uh, uh, places on the windows are just are fantastic, phantasmic. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a great park. It's not as big, uh, but it, what it lacks in size, it definitely makes up for in charm. Uh, it has a couple unique things to it, which is awesome. Uh, overall, it, it, you know, I, I, I think it's great. Um, you know, all the classic rides are there. You know, the ones that are, were, were, you know, were the originators. Even though we don't have the uh, Carousel of Progress anymore. So, yeah. That's my case for why Disneyland is better than Disney World. Touching, man. That was good. Nostalgia all around. Disney World, lay it on me. Me? Okay, well, um, it's hard to top that. You know, well, you know, Disneyland was the original, and I do believe that any Disney fan worth his salt needs to go visit Disneyland to say that they stepped where Walt stepped. And while we can't say that here in Walt Disney World, Walt was here and still is here in spirit. Uh, this is what he wanted. When Disneyland uh, was doing very well, he wanted more. So he decided he was going to build bigger. And he decided where it was going to happen, how it was going to happen. He stood where the X was for Cinderella Castle. So yes, he did, in essence, walk here. Just maybe not during uh, right down Main Street, USA. Uh, we are bigger. Four parks, uh, hotels, spas water parks everything we have everything you could ever want in a theme park an amusement park whatever uh if you're just coming for the weekend to stay at downtown disney and get you know get some dinner at epcot or whatever we have that uh you can do that there uh it could be a little bit harder considering how big walt disney world is but uh it's its own little entity and uh it's really cool you know we have our nostalgia too you know, it's not too, uh, it's not as deep maybe as yours, but we definitely have our nostalgia too. Uh, you know, it's, we have our classic rides. We have the Carousel of Progress. We have that awesome Haunted Mansion, you know, Pirates of the Caribbean, or all the other, you know, older Disney attractions uh, that, you know, came after. Uh, we have, you know, you know, like I said, three other whole parks that, uh, you know, are really great. You know, starting with Epcot, Animal Kingdom, and uh, Hollywood Studios. I mean, we have some lineage, and uh, you know, it, it might not you know get the recognition during you know the history lessons and everything. But uh, Walt Disney World, old Walt Disney World stuff is is, is pretty great. Uh, I'd say just as good as um, Disneyland stuff. So, Walt Disney World, uh, that's that's definitely my pick. Well, I mean, it's hard to argue with either of those two. Um, I mean, both Disneyland and Disney World uh, each have its superiorities. But Disney World has a lot more. A lot more to do, a lot more to see. And it's the number one vacation destination in the world for a reason. The Magic Kingdom in Disney World. Disneyland is quite close. Uh, I mean, a lot of people from the West Coast go to Disneyland because it's a lot uh, simpler to get to. And, uh, you know... The hotel situation there uh, is, is great at, at Disney World, but at Disney, or I'm at Disneyland, but at Disney World, there's a lot more. They have water parks, spas, everything that you could ever want. And yeah, you could do everything that you ever wanted to do there. You can go to Disney World and then go on a Disney cruise or go anywhere you ever wanted to. Uh, Disneyland is great. It's filled with nostalgia and I urge you guys you guys out there especially to go check out Disneyland uh, if you've never been if you're a huge Disney fan you got to see Disney World uh, I'm sorry Disneyland but don't compare it like I'm doing right here to Disney World it's hard to because Disney World there's a lot more to do so I mean Disneyland has nostalgia but Disney World also has immersion from the time you go through the gates of Walt Disney World 
you are in Walt Disney World. Everything is taken care of. Everything is clean. And it's the top place to be for me. And while I will, I think, one day go back to Disneyland eventually, maybe for a D23 Expo or something like that, Disney World will always be my number one vacation destination. Um, just because I love it. And uh, there's a lot to do. And there's an Indiana Jones themed, themed bar right now. That's cool. So yeah, this was fun, guys. I really had a good time talking to uh, all you know, both of you, and you both had a good, uh, some good arguments there. I'm sure other people, especially you guys out there, will have your own opinions. If so, post them in the comments section below, and uh, tell me what you think of everything, and give me your opinion. And remember, they're opinions, not facts, people. So take them as opinions, not facts. Uh, anyway, this was fun. I'm out. You guys go do what you need to do. What's that? Gentlemen, it's been a pleasure working with you these past couple weeks. I hope you guys have a good time doing whatever it is that you do. I keep forgetting that I'm a subconscious of this gentleman right here, so I'm going to vanish in thin air in about three, two, one. He just evaporated. That's weird. What about you? Well, I'll see you all later, gentlemen. Um, Star Wars Land, anybody? Yeah. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow. All right. He just evaporated too. That was weird. Come to think of it, this whole thing is kind of weird. Did I just spend a whole month arguing with myself? I need to get out more. I'll see you guys at the studio. Dull Whip? No, okay. Well, man oh man, I gotta say, that was a good time. Uh, you know, talking about the castles and the, you know, and the different parks itself, uh, you know, it, it was a, it's a big thing for me. The, you know, the castles are very, um, you know, unique in and of itself, and I couldn't make a decision as to which one is better because they're both so iconic. And they both fit really well with the parks, and I, you know, I couldn't pick one. You know, pick one. As far as the parks go, I mean, come on, Disney World has more and is bigger, uh, but Disneyland also has its charm and nostalgia with it. So you know, it was kind of tough to you know to make that choice. But um, I hope you guys understand. I would love to hear what you guys have to say about uh, you know either of those things. So post them in the comments section below, and uh, I'll try to get back to you. Uh, you know, with that, I would love to hear your comments and thoughts on that. So yeah, again, I you know you know like I've said before, this has been very fun. Uh, Arena August, it was just something that I kind of dreamt up in my head, and uh, you guys helped me come up with the name, and uh, we got the logo and everything, and uh, you know that was really cool. Um, you know it's hard to actually come up with things to talk about. I've been doing this for eight years, and uh, eventually I will you know have nothing to talk about. Uh, but the fact that we can still you know come up with you know certain things like this. Um, you know, I have some things I have an idea on that I might want to do, uh, you know, extra videos on the horizon, but who knows, maybe we'll, uh, you know, uh, who knows what's going to happen. I just go with the flow and, uh, and all that. So for right now, thanks for, you know, watching our, you know, Arena August, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And, uh, you know, post your comments in these comments section below. And now, a random Disney fact with File 91E. More than 1.6 million turkey legs are consumed at the Disney parks each year. And that was a random Disney fact with File 91E. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's Disney news and reviews. Again, um, I will be doing a live show next week talking all about D23 Expo. And I uh, hope you guys can be there. I'm, I'm, I think I want to do it at around 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, and uh, that should be fun to do. Um, so keep an ear out for that. It'll be right here on YouTube. So all you got to do is just be here uh, or wherever you are at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And, uh, you know log in and we can talk and all that stuff there is a little bit of a delay so my comments might be uh you know my answers to your question might come you know 15 seconds afterwards because it has to go all the way up to space and then come right back down so you know technology awesome 
and uh, again thanks for uh you know enjoying uh you know the arena august i had a f fantastic time making these and uh, i will bring that back i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure i will bring that back uh, but yeah, if anybody from Disney is watching, please don't sue me. I want people to go to Disney World or Disneyland, check out everything, and make their own decisions on these. That's why I do these videos, is because I want people to get excited about going to Disney World or Disneyland and uh, you know having a great time because there is so much to do there for adults, kids, old, young, everything. It's just fantastic, and uh, that's the whole reason why I do this show. Not for any money, because I don't make any money off of this. This is just me talking about, you know something that I'm really passionate about so yeah so awesome so if you are going to Disney World or Disneyland be sure to go to allers.net touringplans.com wdwmagic.com for all the latest and greatest Disney news WaltDisneyWorld.com and Disneyland.com are great for my Disneyland news I go to micechat.com they have a great you know website there check out micechat.com for all of the Disneyland news they have good stuff and great articles there so yeah I think that's it that's the end of Arena August and um, I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, cool stuff. This, this is weird. We're already out of August already. We're going to be into September. It's fall. What is even happening? So who knows? Who knows what's around the corner for File 91 e Maybe you guys do. If you guys have any ideas, just post them in the comment section below. <laughs> so yeah, I'll see you guys uh, next time for another Disney news and reviews. And guys, we're in the land MI this week. Bye. Go. Some people go ahead of us. I'm there. I'm here all the time.